I'm flinging wax. Are you? <laughs> Good. Oh, no. Hello, everyone. Uh, happy Wednesday to you all. Welcome to the Ogie and Lamb YouTube channel. We're glad you're here today. We are live right now, um, for those of you who are wondering. <laughs> and we're excited for those of you who are watching the replay. Anyway, my name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb, and my little cohort over there is Miss Rachel, who happens to have a baby Charlie in her belly, and I'm very excited. Uh, <laughs> Hi, anyway, everyone. It's been, a, it's been an interesting day. Actually, it's been a really weird week around here. Rachel That's an and I, understatement. Really weird week. Um, a good week, but weird. Yes. Yeah. Rachel just finished a super cute member-only video for you all. I cannot wait for you to see it this week. We, um, she taught you how to make your own candles and use a water slide decal. The project is so flipping cute. I can't wait for you to see it. And anyway. it was, I'm not taking credit. It was not my idea, but mm. I was very happy to be able to execute that. I used to make candles, um, and I love making candles. So I get to teach you guys how to make candles. Yeah. So be looking for that this week. If you are an Oak and Lamb Flock member, we have member only content that is pre recorded. So there's no like chatting back and forth because we understand that not everyone has time to sit and watch this and listen to us talk about food. Uh, um, <laughs> but anyway, we do have member only content that is very just educational for you all. And that is one that is dropping this week. So um, check it out if you love content like that and want to become part of a community who also loves each other and crafting and cut files, um, join Oak and Lamb. We would love to have you here. Um, today we are making a glitter resin clock. And here's the thing, Rachel, should we, no, it's still 64 degrees in here. I said, Rachel, I'm going to turn it up to 80 degrees in the studio for the live, <laughs> because for whatever reason, every time I make a project that is resin based here on a live, the, um, it doesn't set up as quickly for me. I don't know if it's the temperature. I have no idea. So we may be here for four hours, but we're going to get this clock done today. Yes, we sure are. Yes. They're loving your bun today, Becca. Thank you. The top knot. I told Becca today, that I really thought I would have a few more months of me having a bun before I was jealous of Becca's bun. But alas, she walked in today and it hit me and I'm like, darn, I'm already jealous of Becca's bun. <laughs> so it listen, it's growing. It looks fantastic. We're getting there. We're getting the back there. is still clipped up by a clippy clip. And that's fine. It, and I actually am looking at myself. I kind of need to fix it right now. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm glad that you noticed that. Yeah, yes. I'm... Shame on you for not telling me. Um, we are making a glitter resin clock today, and we have quite a few supplies that we need. So let's go over those. Um, look at these, first of all. We have two options. Two options. I made one with a wood frame. Is that what you would call it? A wooden frame. Nice. Yeah. And one is acrylic. Acrylic? Wood. I made these with a Glowforge. However, you can, if you have the maker, cut the wood using basswood and do the exact same thing. So where I'm, I'm going to do the acrylic one today because I haven't really played with acrylic on a live before with you all. Um, and uh, it's basically the same. It's just, it's just a different adhesive. So we would use the Gorilla Wood Glue to glue these two layers together. And I'll show you this in a second. It makes sense. Um, so you have two layers. One layer, two layers, and you glue these together and it has a lip now, so a little ledge. And once the glue is finished, then you can mix your resin with your glitter, pour it in there and then cure it. Um, so that, so anyway, you're going to need acrylic or wood. Like I said, you can use the maker and basswood. And since it's a simple shape, it's not going to take that long to cut it out. It's not very intricate. It's literally just a circle circle. So that is helpful. I do have a cut file for this because if you have a Glowforge or a laser cutting machine, not just a Glowforge, any laser printer, um, you can make this in another way. And that is by scoring the letter or the numbers on the back panel. And I'll show you in just a second, the cut file. Um, so anyway, this is available. It is already available for you all. I have this as well because I'm going to be drilling into it. Yeah. Yeah, you will be. Yes, you will be. Yep. I sense some resentment, Rachel. There's a there's a lot of it, but you know, um, the mistake was already made, so we can't change the past. So we might as well just 
I can change my attitude for the future. So I, Can I, you do that right now? I've chosen to do that later. <laughs> Guys. <clears throat> Go ahead. Yeah. My precious, priceless piece of wood. That Anna got blamed for yesterday for, like, stealing. Yes. <laughs> that I use for all of my screen printing projects. Becca thought she would just take and drill into. That's what she thought. So, so here was my other thought. Rachel and I have a love fern. <laughs> we do have a love fern. It has followed us from MGL. It actually looks really beautiful. It, yeah. I it's thought thriving. we were in a place in our relationship that we could also share that piece of wood. Mm. So one side has a drill mark and the other can be Rachel's. It's like, it's like we share, it's like a love wood. A love fern, it, a love... It just might take me a little bit longer to accept the love wood than it did the love fern. <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll get there. Anyway, <laughs> I have a piece of wood. Um, this is a blooper, and I, I just use it to drill through <laughs> the acrylic and the resin in the wood so that it goes into something. Um, I am using UV resin today. This is by J Diction. We love it. I assume it's linked, Rachel, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yes, she did her job today. Um halfway yeah it, it's good resin we also have the uv light which is also linked for you and we have a little cup a little craft stick also known as a popsicle stick i'm using glitter and i'm going to mix glitter today because of course in my head i had this vision of what it would look like and i couldn't find what i wanted so i'm mixing myself and i need glitter. you to tell me the specific names of those glitters so that I can link them to the exact glitter you're using. Beach Bum. Okay. Rainbow Fin. Okay. Pink Flamingo. Thank you. Amazing. We also, uh, there's so much. I also have a drill and a massive drill bit because I need to be able to drill through and put my clock pieces in there. Um, what drill do we use, Miss <clears throat> Beth was asking? This is a DeWalt 20 volt. We've used so many. I mean, we've used Ryobi, we've used Milwaukee, we've used uh, just so many things. I, I just like DeWalt. I don't know why. Um, the drill bit that I'm using today is the, um, yep, 3 8 inch drill bit. It is large, but that is the size, and I'll show you on the overhead in a little bit, of the piece that goes through. This is um, from Walmart, clock shop, fine clock making parts. It was $7.99, but it was actually on sale. So 40% off of that. And when you check these out, <clears throat> I have bought the incorrect one a couple of times and had to replace or take them back. You need to pay attention to the, the measurements that are on the packaging because there are two, two measurements on it. One is the shaft length. So if you have a piece of wood or something that you're trying to go through that is an inch and a half, then you can't use a three eighths inch shaft length because it's not big enough. It's not long enough. It won't go through. So pay attention to that. And then also pay attention to the diameter of the shaft. Um, obviously you have more control over that because you're drilling that in. So pay attention. We do have this, this has, has little gold arms on it. If you didn't like the gold arms, you could easily spray paint the gold arms, but I like them. I also have um, some white matte vinyl. This is permanent vinyl. Funny story to come in just a second. And then clear transfer tape because we're going to be putting numbers on our clock using vinyl. Did I forget any? Excuse me. Gloves. Didn't say that. And then a poster board. <clears throat> so Rachel and I did a video today um, on a car decal and we went to remove her other monogram that was on her car. Right. Has it been like two years? We put that yeah. on. Yeah. It was a while ago. About two years. And we went to pull it off and whew, we're going to have to like chip away at it. It's a whole thing. Well, I, and also I've never had a garage or anything. So it's been in the elements for all two years, just being baked by the sun day by day. The good news is that thing wasn't coming off. It, listen, she is on there for, yes. for a good long time. So I have not looked at any comments. Um, I'm sure Rachel will interrupt me, but we do have a lot to, to do. So I'm going to get started and she can interrupt me. Where um, did you get your clock kit? The actual like little... Hobby Lobby. Yes. Yeah. It's clock shop. Uh, there's a whole aisle. Well, at our Hobby Lobby, there's an end... Cap. And it has, yeah, it has all of like the little, um, 
making parts, the clock parts. Um, did you answer the member only video one? Are really all your member only videos on dashboard saying member only? I don't really know what that means. So on are, which are, dashboard are member only videos are on here or on the website? Our member only videos are not on the website right now. We're, we're working on fine tuning some of that stuff to make it a little more user friendly. Right now they are um, available on the private Facebook group or we can send you a playlist link yes. for, yes. for so, all of you um, who need that. You can email us if you want to. Um, or go on the Facebook page. But if you don't have a Facebook for whatever reason or you want the link to that YouTube playlist, go ahead and email us and we'll send that over to you. Yes. Hi, Chrissy. Welcome back. Yes, Beth. Thank you for welcoming her. Chrissy did a fun race at Disney World. Um, what? This last weekend. That's sorry, I'm awesome. telling all of your business, but you were. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, congratulations. <laughs> that was a very big accomplishment. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so let's go to. Where do I want to start? Let's start in the Glowforge app. And I'll show you really quickly. I'm not going to cut anything today just for sake of time. It it take it was less than a two minute cut. Um, but I'll show you really quickly. If this was here and then I'll import the file. Let's go to upload. And then I'm going to go to block cut files because that's where I have them saved. Is my glow for and guys it's officially the second day of national craft month did you do anything fun yesterday for national craft month yes let, know. let us know okay so i'm uploading this file here and as you can see it has a couple of different elements so i'm going to change this from engraved to cut this is our back piece and then um you can see it has the numbers and it has this center piece right here if you wanted to, if you were not going to be using resin, then you could go ahead and change this center piece to cut as well. So it would cut out that center. You won't have to drill through and you can just put your, your clock making pieces in. However, because I am going to be um, filling this with resin, I don't want that hole there because I don't want it to seep out. So instead of just deleting it, I'm going to put score so that it will score it and I know exactly where the center of this clock face is. Now, you might be thinking, but you're going to cover that with resin, how will you see it? So I'm gonna flip it so that the scored part is on the back and I'll show you all of that when we get to that portion. But um, I'm gonna flip it and then it just makes finding that center super easy. Because I'm not gonna be doing anything with these numbers here in Glowforge, I will select them and ignore it because I'll be cutting those out of vinyl with my um, <clears throat> my Cricut in just a little bit. Now I just need to take this, change it from engrave to cut. Red lines mean cut, blue is engrave, and purple is score. So that kind of gives you an idea. When you're looking at this, we have red. We have red, that's good. We'll zoom in, we have purple. That's what we want. And then all we would do at this point is select our material setting if we hadn't already, which it's, it already comes up because it has this little QR code here from the Glowforge grade or pro grade materials. And then we would press ready to print and print. It's that easy, super, super easy. The other thing that I want to know is you wanna make sure before you do all of that, that the clock size is the size that you want. Um, so let's look really, really quickly how to do that. What you would want to do is size this together. So you could drag and drop to size it, or with both layers selected, you can come down to the bottom and size it to whatever size you want right here. So two great options for us. Um, let's... And also, I'll switch to you for just a quick second. Okay. Uh, we have a friend here, Mr. Juan Carlos, and he has been watching us for years over on Makers Mill Learn, and he was excited to see us here. Yay! And uh, he has a Glowforge. He makes T-shirts, and he's wondering if we would ever, and we've mentioned this on a lot, kind of dabble with direct-to-garment dye. And we have direct-to-garment dye T-shirts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um... No. I, well, you know what? I said no. I say that. We have a member, a flock member, actually, um, Angie Ottinger. I don't know if you all have met her yet, virtually or not. If you're coming to the Craft with the Flock 
um, camp trip, then she will be there so you get to meet her. But she does direct to guy direct to garment dye for us and all of the stuff that we wear here she makes with direct to garment dye um <clears throat> the whole machine and the startup costs and everything like that is pretty pricey yeah so for us to purchase it just to teach it a couple of times doesn't make sense however however I could talk to her because I'm sure she would. We might be able to do some sort of like member only something. I don't know. We like a mini course or something that she could help us yeah. with. Yeah. That would be amazing. For sure. Or just even like we could go and kind of tour and she could tell us the process and show us how it works. That would be really cool. Remind me, Rach, to ask her that. I'm, I'm pretty sure she would be excited about it. So yeah. um, anyway, and I love direct to garment dive. Yeah. Yeah. And... Terry says, can I use a wood round the size of a door hanger? So I guess the question is, how big would you recommend making these? I mean, however big you want. I made one that was, Rachel, was it like this big? Yes. And it had the flower pots on it. Yes. And then it had the, it was the, huge. It was now, huge. You have to how know, big you want it? The resin is what's going to cost you. If yes. you use UV resin on something that, that huge, you're going to go through it. The resin will also make it really heavy. So you need to think about that. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. So these are all things to think about, but you can make it as big as you want. Technically. Yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and go to the overhead camera. Let me kind of clear some stuff off here really quickly. And then I'll show you what we're working with so far since I already did cut this out. We have, can they, can you all see this right here? Yep. That it's scored. Mm -hmm. So that is where I'm going to be drilling in a little bit. We can go ahead and weed this masking tape off I can get it I don't want to scratch my acrylic there we go I could have chosen a color that wasn't clear and that probably would have made things easier for everyone but it looked so cute it is really cute well, I'll show you the overhead in just a second because so you can get a close-up so here is the clear acrylic with the gold and then here's the wood with the fun color so the one that we're making today we're going to do uh, clear acrylic with the fun glitter anyway so I've weeded that off really quickly and then I'm going to do this part the same and we are going to use UV resin to glue this together which how cool is that super fun okay let me get this piece off and then we'll be ready. You can see that I do have this poster board here. Mm, I tend to make a mess with UV resin. Um, so I'm trying not to. I'm gonna put a glove on here as well. Maybe two gloves. And the cool thing that, about this UV resin that I like is that it has the nice nozzle on it so that it's easy to put a small amount. It's, it's easier to um, decide where it goes as well. So let me make sure I have the right side here. Okay. Becca got a fresh manicure yesterday. Yeah, he did. Got to protect that. Sure. I'm just going to put a small little bit all the way around here. And it comes out a little bit quicker than I like. So I like to put the nozzle, I like to touch the nozzle down to the acrylic. Does that make sense? Instead of like like pulling it up and letting it, I like to touch it down and then just allow a little bit to come out. And Chrissy's here. Hello, Sparkle Dumpster. Yes. I still remember the day when you when you started watching Air Lives at Makers and Alert. And I'm we like, flipped out, yeah. We flipped out over a YouTube handle. That's completely unrelated. Just, hello, glad you're here. She says, I got the UV resin that Oak and Lamb suggested, which is the J Diction that Becca's using. And yes. she said, it has elevated my experience from the Joann's UV resin I was struggling with. <gasps> really? And I, first of all, I love that. I'm so glad that um, you have a UV resin that you enjoy. And I do want to reiterate, when you're a beginner crafter and you spend money on your materials, those materials can do you wrong sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so heartbreaking because it will... Uh, make your old confidence go down or you'll have too many craft fails or you'll think that you have just spent too much money and wasted too much money and you'll move on to a different craft when in reality it could just be a simple change of a uh, product so I'm so glad that you were struggling and that now you're not not that you were struggling because that's horrible but I'm glad that you enjoy UV resin now because it is absolutely really cool. 
so cool. So you could clamp this together if you wanted to. Um, I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I'm just holding it. And this should cure pretty quickly <clears throat> enough for me to not have to worry about it moving around. Um, and I was telling, I think I mentioned this in another UV resin video. It's actually really interesting. I love Shark Tank. I love watching Shark Tank. I yeah. don't know why. They're really mean to do these poor people. But <laughs> they are. It's true. But this person came on Shark Tank and had a pen. It looked like a pen. It almost looked like the Zig glue pen. Okay. And a clear, I forgot how they marketed it. Honestly, it was UV resin. But they marketed it as some type of um, sealer that can fix anything like a, like a little fix all type of thing yeah and it squeezed out of a little pin and then on the back of the pin where you would like press the pin it was a little uv light so you would squeeze it all like if your glasses broke you would put it on like the little piece of plastic on your glasses and it would like bond it back together and it was like 20 dollars for this pin and the shark tank people went crazy over it and i was sitting there and i'm like that is uv resin that's these, interesting these people are spending 20 dollars on a tiny pin of uv resin um but yeah yeah Tammy, you love it too. I love Shark Tank. It's very, very uh, entertaining. I got a little bit of resin right here on the side. So I'm just trying to get down a little bit. You do have to be careful, um, especially with the clear, that you don't get into the acrylic because it will look scratched up if you were sanding it down with this. But uh, I just wanted to even that out. But this is this is not going anywhere now. That's what we want. Good to start. So now I'm ready to just turn this off for a second. And then I'm going to grab my little cup and resin. And I'm going to, it, this is, I, I told Rachel, this is the part that I kind of always hate because I never really know how much to do. Obviously the deeper your, um, like the thicker that your materials are, the more of a lip you're going to have. And so the more resin you need. And also, it's easy to say, well, you can always make, mix more and put it on top. But when she mixes all these glitters together, it would be really hard to replicate the exact mix of glitters. Right. So I totally get the frustration there. It's definitely... I mean, you want to err on the side of having too much than not enough if you have to, you know, go... Absolutely, ahead. Rachel. Yeah. But, again, we know it's money and we know it's hard. Okay. Is Shay here? Uh, I don't know. I have Shay noticed. loves glitter. And she hooked me up with this company who does like custom glitter mixes. I'm sort I sort of geek out when I watch it. Um, but they do lives mixing the glitters and stuff. And anyway, if she's here, I wanted her to tell them what the company was because I can't remember I'm terrible with names. Okay. Let's see here. How are you feeling about that? That uh, the mixture, glitter mix there. I don't know. I might need a little more pink in it. Which, oh, okay. A little more of this stuff. Mm. Yeah. I've also linked all these glitters below. Thank you, Becca, for telling me the names. Rachel, you are just so good to them. Mm. I try. I try. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking better. So I'm just mixing it really good, making sure I'm getting in the bottom here because I don't want any dry. And here's the thing. I, the first time I mixed stuff like this, I thought if I put too much glitter in there, then it's not going to be like as runny or as like as long as as long as it's fluid like this. I don't know if you can see or not. Then it, it's good enough. I kept thinking, well, I'll probably have to add more resin, but I haven't found that to be true. Well, that's good. Good to know. Yeah. So now what I'm doing is just pouring it in here. I'm going to pour it right here in the center. You can use your popsicle stick to kind of get it to move around a little bit. Um, I may have to add more, but we'll see. I'm going to leave a little bit in there. I don't want it to be too, too thick because I don't want it to overflow. I like that you call it a popsicle stick because I do too. I mean, that's what it is. It's a popsicle stick. It comes off, off of a popsicle. I agree. You can also move it around a little bit. In fact, this is probably the better method so that you're not getting it accidentally on the sides and stuff. It's also mesmerizing to do this. Oh. So while I'm doing this, 
Rachel and I tried this new donut plate. What's not new? It's new to us. This new donut place today, and we need to share the pictures of the donuts that we got. They're like gourmet donuts. Um, loved the fruity ones. Did not love the chocolate ones, which is not normal for me. Um, but they're like the good donuts that are glazed and then iced, which is nice. Okay, this is looking good. Another food note while well, <laughs> I'm doing this. I posted that, um, do you like fruity or chocolate Pop-Tart comparison? And yeah, Rachel, well, did, you, talk about it. did you happen to see the results, Rachel? No, I okay. don't want to talk about okay. it. Okay. Um, I thought we had members with better taste is all I'm going to say. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, ki- I'm kidding. I, I also like fruity Pop-Tarts, but for the majority of... Of my Pop Tart needs, I will grab a chocolatey Pop Tart. Yeah? Yeah. But now, <clears throat> Becca did. Here's what happened I was at home, and it's like the Lord knew that Becca was going to text me to bring me donut. Well, he did know. But it's like it just all planned out perfectly because I, I was running a little bit late at home, and then Becca texted me. I was in my car getting ready to pull out, and she said, I'm going to bring us some donuts from this place, this new place, Need Donuts. And I love milk. And we don't have any milk here at the studio. And I'm like, Becca's going to bring me these like serious donuts. I got out of my car, got back in my house, unlocked the door, and got a cup of milk and brought it to work. And James is like, it. what are you doing? Yeah, James was confused. <clears throat> um, hey, worth it. Worth it. It made my um, donut experience more enjoyable. Yes. So Becca, Becca brought us some donuts, and they are delicious. So while this cures... I'm going to go to Design Space. I, I've also discovered that for whatever reason, this sort of <laughs> works so much. I know it's a whole thing, um, but let's go over to Design Space. This is curing. It only take a few minutes to be honest, because it's not a super thick layer of UV resin. Um, so let's come over here and grab our clock cut file. And then all I'm going to do is add it to my canvas and I need to size it down to the size that I used here, which was, I think 4.49. Hold on. Let me measure it really quickly. It is, yeah, 4.49. I'm going to just ungroup this and delete this part because I really don't need it. And I really, um, <clears throat> want to, I need to size this together. So 4.49. Then I'll delete this back layer because I don't need it now. And now I'm ready to just click make it. Put on the mat. I can even find a mat or even space, <laughs> space here to do this. How would a person cut that acrylic if you don't have a Glowforge? Uh, you can cut some acrylic with the Cricut, but it's extremely thin. So it's pretty, it's up to you. It's up to you. I would probably go I would go probably the go route. the wood route. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What happened? Well, you know what? Fail. This is not an actual... Hang on. Let me... Let me the door. You mean that's not like patented? That's not... Wow. Well, you know, Rachel, we may be getting an email during this right now. You're very into, you're innovative, Becca. We would love to partner with you, oh, you know, on a right. UV light stand. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay. I assume this is as big as I need. Becca, have you ever had a crow nut? Is that a croissant, croissant donut? donut right? I have. You like it? I do, especially Someone if they're filled it. with chocolate. And then we had a question. Was the cake donuts that you bought us today glazed or plain? Um, the the cake donuts were were. They had like icing. I'll, I'll, I'll share a picture with you. They had like icing and things on them. The regular donuts was gla were glazed and then had things on top of them. I didn't. I was not a fan of the cake donuts, and I love cake donuts. Um, but the others were really pretty, and they had like berries and oh, they were so pretty. Okay, I am connecting the um, connecting Design Space to my maker, and I'm just going to use the premium vinyl removable mat setting. Put a little bit more pressure on here. And I was honestly shocked. Sometimes the smaller vinyl cut files 
um, when you make them this little, don't cut out really well. They don't read, weed really well. But yesterday these cut out and weeded really nicely. So don't be afraid to make them small. That's what I'm trying to say. Jan said, Cricut will make a UV light stand and charge $200. Probably. <laughs> I don't know why they haven't done a UV light. Honestly, like that would have been a whole lot better than the 360 light. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. With a stand, that would have been genius. Well, they don't have anything directed to resin, though. As no, but craft. look at how, how many, many projects could. people use. That's what I'm saying. They sh they, yeah. That's definitely a route they should go, you know? Yeah. And my Who opinion. are we, Becca? We're trying to put, listen, listen to us. Could, you have, so could they ideas. have made a two-in-one? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm not an electrician and I'm not that smart when it comes to those things. Could you have made one that was like a double headed with like a regular light so you could use that and That's then turn smart. it off and use the UV That's light when you smart. needed it? I don't know. Okay, now we're going to weed this. Now, don't come at me. There's going to be a lot of extra vinyl here, but I did not want to have to place each thing individually because I want them to be super symmetric. But what you could do if you wanted to is grab your true control, true control knife and cut around. And then you could even cut the center if you wanted to. I really am not sure what I would do <laughs> with this two inch circle. I'm just giving you ideas for those of you who like to save everything. That's how you could do it. Right. Yes. Now you have to come up with a project for this two inch circle. Okay. Yep. Done. Yeah. Let me remove this. Also, eh, you could probably put do a little label or something with this. I knew better than What's to grab mat, this. Becca? I knew better than to grab <laughs> this mat. Well, the problem is that I'm removing the vinyl from the mat instead of the opposite way, which is a no, no. Anyway, let's weed this. Pull that up there just very slowly. Look how cute. She is. Oh my gosh, look at that, that circle. So I'm saying now that's I the, see what you're talking that's about. That's a two inch circle you have to find a project. That's for. horrible. It is horrible. You're right. <laughs> you are right. Money's money. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me grab. You want um, some clear transfer tape for this for sure so that you can see what you're doing when you're laying it down. Okay. Sorry, I have to make everything. Um, I'm trying to tidy things up because this table is stressing me out. There's a lot going on, There's Rachel. a lot going on. It's fine. Let me remove this here. I normally like to go ahead and put my transfer tape on. Put the circle. Four. Put our circle. Put my circle. Yeah. So now I'll put it back down. Hold Terry said, off. I rigged up my ring light to the top of my tripod to use my UV light on. That's nice. Me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Burnishing. And then I'll see if the UV, if the resin, the glittery resin is ready for the transfer. You're running a race here. What time is it? It just feels or it feels like you're running a race. Well, because I feel like there's so many steps, and <laughs> because know, my I UV know. resin projects go so bad on lives, they're fine when I'm testing them. They go so bad on lives. I hate that for you. <laughs> so traumatizing. Not because, like, just because I want to give you guys good education, not because I'm concerned that it actually. No, no. Yeah. I'm sure it will be perfect. Today. Okay, so let's see. Let's check on this. Oh, it's good. Yay! It's not even tacky. Yay. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our numbers on here. And then I'm going to put an extra coat of resin on top in just a second to keep these nice and sealed. Now here, here's a problem that I run into a lot. I love all these fun colors. Uh, this is like super busy what color do I put on top of it, right? Like sometimes sometimes yeah. you do things like this and you can't even see. Becca, it's just like the problem with patterned vinyl. You don't know what's gonna look good over top of it. Right. At, that right there though, pops beautifully. It actually does pop, yes. So because I did not 
because I wasted a little bit of vinyl, that went really well, which is preferable. Bell B said, I'm going to hurt my husband badly and you all are gonna have to bail me out of jail. He reset the modem and I lost you. Does he not know this is your sacred crafting time? That is rude. Bell. That's rude. so rude. Okay. I'm I'll be in this. the middle of a TV show and James will say, I'm resetting the router. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, what I'm is wrong to, with I'm these people? I'm trying to watch Shrek 2 and you're just going to. So the reason you, you don't have to put another coat of resin on top of this, but it, in my opinion, because all the glitter is there, it doesn't, I mean, you're not going to be touching this to, to remove it. Um, but it just, doesn't stick as well as I would like. So that's why I'm just gonna put another thin little layer of resin. And it's like a a really professional finish. Right. You know, it just kind of adds a little, little pizzazz. Let's place this on here. And then I'm gonna, with my finger, smooth it out. And just make sure that I'm not getting it on the sides at all. If you happen to get some on the sides, grab a paper towel or something like that and wipe it before you turn your light off. So one thing I do want to point out, you see how I have my light off right now? Don't be lazy like I have in the past and just leave the light on thinking I'm going to be using it in a second because you may not pay attention to where it is. And I have accidentally started curing things um, while I was still trying to manipulate the resin. So don't do what I did. Could you just use clear resin? Yeah, you can make a clear Absolutely. cloth. Absolutely. 100%. You do not have to add glitter. But it's so cute with glitter. Very cute. Can you use alcohol inks in UV resin? I haven't. I actually don't know. I, I feel like it would be the same problem that we face whenever you would add um, like paint to resin or something like that. I think if it's a drop here or there, it might not be harmful but if it's something liquidy that could change the um consistency to, yes the, yeah. thank you Becca the consistency of the resin I feel like that could become a problem there are resin specific uh dyes and colors and pigments and things and even those say if you put too much in there your resin's not going to cure properly it cures kind of bendy or tacky oh yeah it's really really weird um I had to I had to overdo it to make a really fun comparison video years ago, and it it blew my mind that you uh, you could add just a little bit too much of something that was created for resin and it messed it up. But again, with the alcohol inks being alcohol inks, and I, I think if you use a little tiny bit, it would it wouldn't be that bad. That's a good question though. Fantastic question. Got our wheels turning for sure. Do we have any other questions like that? Because while this is curing, it won't take very very long, but. While it's Kari, cool. Kari, I'm so glad that we have some more educated people here about <laughs> UV resin. Wait, is today is today's Kari's birthday? Is it? Let me know. I think I saw Kari? that. Happy birthday if it is. Is it? If it is, happy birthday. Yes. She says she does use alcohol inks all the time in her resin, but not a lot. Not okay. a lot. Okay. Um, thank you for that, for sure. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 okay. Yes. Kevin. Oh, I see what Kevin, you're saying. Yes. Kevin and Penny. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, who all do we have here? I haven't even looked. Lots we have of a lot friends. of good people here today. Yes. Commenting a lot, asking a lot of fantastic questions. Yeah, do we have any birthdays today? I, think it's I know Kari's, it's Terry's birthday sure it's on Kari's Monday. Birthday. Terry? Kari? Terry? Is it Kari or Kari? I thought it was Kari. I don't know. I always say names wrong. Is it? Is it care? Well, now you have to tell us how to say your name properly, too. Beth, have a fantastic it is day. Today. Have fun. <gasps> Happy birthday! Yes. Now tell us how we say your name. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Is it Carrie or Kari? I always pronounce them as they as they look spelled. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Let us know. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to read. Uh, reading and talking at the same time are just not really my uh, strong suit here. I, I basically can't do it, no. Yeah, not really sure. Um, so <clears throat> tomorrow we have a live at 1030. 
So that will be really fun. Um, you can come back here and we already, it's very, it's hysterical. We already have members who are making the project that I'm making tomorrow. So I love that. Uh, they're just that, um, they're, they're that about enthusiastic it. about it. Yes. Yes. Um, Carrie, like Carrie. Okay. It is Carrie. 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 Okay. I'm Carrie, sorry. we are sorry, but happy I'm birthday. Sorry. Um, if you email us your mailing address, which I, if it's on file, I already have it, then I'll send you this clock for your birthday. What? Yeah. Oh. Send it to us. Hello at oakandlame.com. It's because Becca thinks it's ugly. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm only giving it away because it's <laughs> ugly. Look, you should have seen Becca's face. I was on the wrong camera. She shot me a look and she was like, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it's adorable. It's adorable. I also love the sample that she made that's that's gold. gold. Yeah, you can tell so me which cute. one you want. You want the golden or the pink one? Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. I'll put I'll put the um clock mechanism on whichever one you like better. As soon as this is finished curing. For whatever reason the the second coat takes longer. And it did yesterday too. I don't. It might be because you didn't let the first coat. No, it didn't like have any completely. tack at all. Oh. Well, and yesterday it was it's, it was there for like two hours before I went to the other. I think the difference is that there's so much glitter in the other that it's mostly glitter, yeah. and so it just cures quicker. Yeah. Uh, Chrissy, I thought of you. In fact, I almost text you the very minute that I had the first prototype, not text you, uh, message you to show you because one, you have a glow so you can easily make it. And two, you love glitter. I thought you might like it. And someone <clears> asked <throat> where we get our glitter. We got ours from 143vinyl.com. It is Starcraft glitter. Again, all the glitter that Becca used is linked below. They have a bunch of different there's like neon and metallic and chunky glitters and fine glitters and funky shapes and yeah. So go check it Carrie out. Carrie says pink for sure. Oh, Carrie, there's a little bit of resin up here. You're just going to have to love it through it. You have to love it through love it. Love it through it. Yeah. Love it through it, Carrie. I would not ship with the clockworks. Melissa, I'm not really worried about it. My husband works for FedEx, so he's kind of a professional um, packer. So we'll we'll get it. We'll get it nice and secure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can always message me back at Chrissy. I feel like we're BFF now. <laughs> I mean, I felt like that way anyway, but I'm just verbalizing it now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, anywho. Um, yes. Yeah, so live tomorrow at 1030. I'm trying to think we'll have a premiered video on Friday, mm -hmm. premiered video on Saturday. Yep. And, and you all get a member only probably tomorrow. Member only. Yes. Don't hold my breath on it. But pro well, probably tomorrow. Primarily because I was taking thumbnail photos for our upcoming lives and my camera literally just, the battery went kaput. And I put makeup on just for these thumbnail photos. That's a lie. I filmed a video today and I really don't mind putting makeup. I just have to give Becca a hard time. So her, ca her camera died. You're going to have to wear makeup tomorrow. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Makeup, do I'm it. not photoshopping you any eyebrows. <laughs> <gasps> How dare you? Usually she'll photoshop me some eyebrows on there and make me look a little bit tan when I don't wear makeup. Mm -hmm. Just so I don't blend into the background of the uh, <clears throat> shot. Yes. Because she loves me. <laughs> oh my God. All right, we're getting there. It's just taking some time. Carrie said it's perfectly imperfect just like me. Oh, good. That's so true. Now there's a nice, right over the 12 is a little bit of, um, okay. That's Becca's signature. Signature. Or yes, as, it is. Or as my sweet mama B says, and every time I say the word signature, I always think about it. She says signature. Signature? Signature. She's she adorable. She cannot say signature. It's so She's precious. adorable. <laughs> All right. We're going to be here for a moment. So yeah. let us know what you want to talk about. Yeah, let us know. <clears throat> um, uh, Kendall, you guys remember Kendall? She came by yesterday with her sweet baby Addie. Yes. And all I could think about was how little that sweet baby is because my niece is such a chunker. And I said, Kendall, how much does sweet Addie weigh right now? And she said that Addie weighed 16. Was it 16 pounds? 16 or 17. 16 yeah, I can't or 17 remember. pounds. And she's in 12 month clothes. And my sweet niece is six months old today. Only six months old. And Addie's 16 months old. 
And my niece is six months old today, and she is wearing 18 months. And weighs what? Clothes. 22? 20, 20. Yes. Yeah. I think it's 22. She, oh, she's a chunker. She's and adorable. so I just saw Addie, and I'm like, oh, Addie's so little. But really, Addie's probably normal size. No, <laughs> Addie's small. Is she little? Yeah, Addie's small. Oh, my gosh. She's <clears> so <throat> yummy. She's so stinking cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love that. And she has more hair than me and Rachel put together. It's a whole, like, she is she, just. She came out of the womb with a, having, having and more dark. hair And dark. It was so dark. Oh, so cute. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, let me know what you guys want my to talk about. My comments are not refreshing. Any news on when merch might be available? Oh. That's a really great question. It is a good question. Yeah. I actually ordered some more this week. I'm really excited. So we've ordered some fun hats. I ordered more Turvis tumblers. Um, Donnie has been working with, or it, uh, he was supposed to have a Skype meeting this week, I think, about the merch aspect of the website. Yeah. And I have not gotten an update, so I will check on that for you. Yeah. We're so glad that you guys are excited about it, for sure. Yes, chunkers have something to fall back on when sick. Uh, Bell, that's oh, so true. Yes. Because Beckett is super, super, super healthy, but when yeah, he you gets just sick, tell me about this. he is so weak, like really easily weak. I have to, yeah. I have to hold him up when he gets sick. Mm -hmm. And Fallon, on the other hand, pff, you would barely even know she's sick. Yeah. They say even like for grown adults, even like twenty extra pounds on you when you get sick is really good like whatever healthy weight is for you and your bmi or whatever 20 pounds more than that if you get sick that's a really good buffer to have um they told my grandmother that when she was in the hospital as well to uh which is funny they tell you all the time they're like okay stay healthy stay healthy lose weight lose weight but when you get a little bit older and you you stay sick they're like you need to pack on the pounds like what it's like whiplash i know it's like whiplash this whole time but yeah um let me see here how are you going to make money when you keep spilling? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. I really don't. She said, how are you going to make money when you keep spoiling us so much? Stacey, you're sweet. You're so sweet. It's funny because I sent out, and I don't care to tell you, I sent out the measuring tapes and the ear tags. Is there something else? Oh, and a couple of shirts. And let, like... The measuring tapes, I don't know how much they, we'll say $5. They may not have been that much. And then, of course, I made the ear tags, and there may have been like 3 to $4 worth of um, yeah. um, hardware and stuff on it. And they were drawn, the winners were drawn at, at random. random. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I <laughs> spent, <laughs> um, it was almost $5 a piece for the U.S. ones, and the ones that were not in the U.S. were between 17 and 20, or 14 and $25. To ship, to ship like a dollar. It's insane. <laughs> it is insane. Yeah, Becca came back the next day, and she was like, so, um, take a guess on how much it costs to ship a couple of these. Well, because we shipped to, to a, a member in Australia, and Australia is not accepting First class mail, they're only yes. accepting ex express mail. So I was at the United States Postal Service and she told me what the price was. It was going to be $75 to express ship a um, keychain, <laughs> like a $3 keychain. I was like, yeah, we're going to hold off on that. Yeah. So I went to FedEx and got a discount. Chrissy says, do you feel like ever touching the UV resin as it's curing makes it cloudy or are my fingers just weird? Do you have clammy fingers like Rachel? Like me? Chrissy, do we do we share clammy hands? I, this is glitter, so I can't really say that. I'm You're not right. sure. Yeah. We don't do a lot of resin that's that doesn't have like a color or glitter in it. I'm almost there. It's it's almost there, Carrie. I just want it to be perfectly imperfect for you. Yeah. Renee said, "I always wanted a chubby baby, but all three of mine were slim." See, I really, I really hope that I have a good chunky baby. I mean, I love all babies. Come on, hand me any Please, baby. Even if he's not chunky, you'll give, make him that way give quick. Give me any baby. Yeah. But something about those chunkers are just too much for me. Yeah, Kat, we, that's on my list of things to look into. She said, that's crazy. I use shipping easy and weigh my own mail and, and it's cheaper than going to the post office. I, I just haven't had time to do that yet. Um, ship easy, Rachel. Write that down. We're gonna ship look easy. at that one. Ship easy. Shipping easy. I'm on it. Shipping easy. Shipping Excuse easy. Me. Yes. <clears throat> oh. oh, Chrissy does not. 
Chrissy does not have clammy hands. They are desert dry. Well. Yes. And clammy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> They are desert dry and clammy at the same time. I have no idea okay. how or why. That may be your problem. I'm not sure. Chrissy, I understand. Okay. I understand. My face is both dry and oily at the same time. Constantly. Oh, mine is too. Like, dry and yeah. oily. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh. Skin is so weird. Oh, we're almost there. I already forgot the name of that, Becca. Shipping easy. Thank you. Normally, I'm the one with, <laughs> with the memory issues. There's a lot going on over here. Yeah. I'll, I can blame pregnancy brain for just a few more weeks. See, here's the thing, friends. I could have skipped this step because it would have saved us like 10 minutes. But I'm, I want to give you the best product. It's not even two yet. We've got time. Terry, thank you. That is so sweet. You're so sweet, Terry. You should have saved that money. Your birthday's on Monday. Buy something fun. What are you going to buy for your birthday? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do for your birthday? That's coming up. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be a mom on my birthday. Yeah, you won't care about your birthday for a no, while. No, I'm not. My mom does, my, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow. Yes. And Becca's anniversary tomorrow. And... I said, Mom, do you want to like go out to dinner or something? She said, I don't care about my birthday. And I think it's because she's got some grandbabies coming. She's got one already. I think they just kind of, it's just in the past. You know, birthdays are a thing of the past. She's just she's just ready to forget about those now. <laughs> Stacy uses pirate ship. Pirate ship. So does, so does Liz. Liz Vera. She uses pirate ship. Yeah, Romo, I need a light stand. My arms are, this is a, this is a thing. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll write down pirate ship as well. Pirate ship. I love that. That's cute. Uh, Tina, Hi. tomorrow is her 69th birthday. Happy Tanya. birthday tomorrow. Tina. Yes. Uh, happy birthday tomorrow. 69 years young. On my love anniversary. Uh, my mom I guess I got married too. on your birthday. And so, yeah. yeah. It's your fault, I guess. Stacy says tomorrow is her son's 17th birthday. So many March 3rds. That's so funny. That's a lot. Yeah. Am I moving it away? Am I moving the light away, cat? <laughs> I don't know. What? I'm going to put a hook up there. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to stay right here. I'm not, not going to move. How is it not cured? Probably because I keep moving. My gosh. It's there. It's. I don't know. It's still just sticky around. I mean, the center is completely finished. But like around, I don't know. Well, the center's all I needed. I guess I could go ahead and drill through that. Don't rush. This is a birthday gift now. You've already proclaimed it. I know. You all just have to keep talking. I'm not going to rush this. I'm starving. That's all I'm going to say. What do you want to eat? I don't know. I have to go to Walmart after work, which I always dread. I hate Walmart. Oh, let's talk about this. I need a new dry shampoo. Yes. Um, let me know what dry shampoos you all like. I, Keep in mind, I do have darkish hair here, but light hair, so it doesn't need to be chalky and gross at my root. Yeah, that kind of takes away the only one that I use. Yeah. I use Batiste. Yeah, and that's what I had. That's what I just ran out of, and I had to be real careful because yeah. I looked great no, they, really they, quick. They make Batiste for dark hair. They have a formula for dark hair. Do they? Uh -huh. It smells good. It does smell good. I, any Batiste smells good Any brand is fine. And, and as a cosmetologist, so I can get basically anything, let me know. Yeah. I would also be in the market for a really good dry shampoo. I use dry shampoo where others use <clears throat> hairspray. I have to use it right when I get done drying my hair in the morning. Or it's greasy in three hours. I have the worst fine, thin, greasy hair. It's horrible. Ooh, tamales for dinner. I had Taco Bell for dinner again last night. See, everyone hates Walmart. I, I hate Walmart. I hate going in there. It's horrible. And it's hot. I'm in a rush. And I always get the darn buggy that veers to the left and bumps into everything. It's horrible. Oh, Liz also says that she needs a good brand of dry shampoo. Listen, you can't. And, you, and also, Batiste is like $10 a, a pop. And it's, it's a big It's, a it's big not hand. that cheap, in my opinion. I don't think. Not for how much I use it, I guess. Maybe if someone used it less. But I go through, dry, like, I, like I can a week, I go through dry shampoo. So it's, it's pricey. It's pricey. 
I use not your mother's brand. Okay. Not okay. your mother's brand. Okay. Good. Yeah, Walmart pickup. She used to do Walmart pickups. Why don't you do Walmart pickups? Oh, never mind. I know why. Um, well, the thing is, this time, I need specific things. I, so I'm trying to pack my hospital bag for when I go into labor. And apparently you need some specific things, like water shoes to go in the shower because the showers are gross. So I'm going to like get some of those 98 cent flip flops, you know, and you can't get that on the Walmart pickup order. And then um, I want to get a little basket to fill some snacks for my nurses. Um, Stop it. Some that like is hair so ties sweet. and gum and chapsticks and little, you know, packs of crackers and stuff like that. So I think that'd be nice. I'll just want to go and browse around <clears> today. Now, do I have the motivation? No, but I need to do it. I need to do it. Um, Anna should do a hair craft on a live sometime maybe because I almost bought some box dye and stopped myself from ruining it. You <gasps> don't, you don't do that. You don't do that. You, you don't, you don't, don't do that. that. Hey, um, maybe you should do my hair on a live. Me? Anna, Anna, Anna can cut my hair on the live and do whatever. I'll offer up my head to Anna. I've never used dry shampoo, but then I wash my hair daily. My stylist tells me I need to train my hair not to be washed. So Kat, I did the same thing when my hair was short every single day because when it's like super, super short, I mean, mine was a two guard at points and you can't sleep on that and like fix it without, it, it's a whole thing. Yeah. And I used like pastes and stuff in my hair. I, I had to wash it every single day, but not washing it every day has been a life I'm changer. I'm so envious because I, I have to wash my hair every so day. So nice. Have to wash it every day. If my hair is straight, I need to wash it every day. But when it's curly and not on my head. Yeah. You can get away with it yeah. for longer. This is day four. Which, don't even talk to me. I'm, oh, oh, I'm so envious. I'm so envious. And, they're and like, honestly, I. Train your hair. I have to be live in front of hundreds of people. I cannot have four inches of bacon grease sitting but, on my but head. But Rachel, what you could do, like, since if I'm doing a live on Wednesday, Thursday, then you could train it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because you don't come back till Monday. Oh like, my gosh. And I just added one day at a time. Okay. Like, okay, I so would do, okay. yes. I need, because I know it's healthy. They say, honestly, one to two washes a week, max, and that's what's healthiest for your hair. I don't know if Anna would be mad if I'm about to tell you this or not. What? She went nine days. I'm impressed. That's, and and our, there was no grief, like I'm so none. impressed. Like none. I'm envious. I'm jealous. None. That's not gross enough, because she showers. She just doesn't wash her hair. Same, yeah. That's normal. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I'm so, see... Erin, she has to wash her hair every day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel you. Mm. Using dry shampoo after washing keeps it from getting oily. It, it does for me, Terry, because that's kind of what it does is just kind of, uh, really, it's like spray powder. And it just kind of it soaks absorbs up, it. It just kind yeah. of soaks up the, the grease and absorbs it a little bit. It's like, it's like baby powder, but in a liquid form. Yeah, that's basically all that it is. Okay, we're ready. <gasps> we are done. ready. Good grief. So all I'm going to do, have my drill here with the um, 3 8 inch drill bit. I have this lovely thing. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see where that little hole was scored. So you know the perfect So I know center. exactly where it goes. That's so I'm going to put the tip of the drill bit right in the center. And slowly, because this is acrylic, we're going to go slow here. To go through this and then the um, resin isn't hard at all to go through this is so satisfying to watch Ooh. i don't have my drill bit tight enough hold on troubleshooting yeah troubleshooting okay Carrie is so excited. And, Lenny, and then when you get all the way through, you're just going to back it out. Lenny said, what did you make? I missed the beginning. We've made a glitter resin clock. How cute is it? So fun here. And then we're going to put the clock pieces in here and the back 
is very helpful. It shows you step by step what to do because I had never done this before. And this one in particular, they have them that don't have this and then they have them with it. And I like the one with it. Um, like a wall hanging? It's a wall hanging. That's so you good. put it on like this. And then you get this little black washer here. Let me grab it. And place it on. And now you put whew, your clock on. And you don't have to worry about it being straight yet. Now we're going to grab this larger piece here. And we're going to screw it on. What do you think about using a CD for this? Um, that would be cute. That would be cute. Okay. Tighten it on there, but don't make it too tight. But you don't want it to move either. That's the thing. So at this point, right before you tighten it to where it can't move anymore, make sure that this is straight. Just like this. And now you're going to grab uh, this piece, place it on. Oh, dadgummit, I put the wrong one on first. Hold on. We're learning. Yeah. We're learning. I don't even remember seeing that piece before. This piece goes on. The washer and then the nut. Oh my God. Did that scare you? It scared me to death. <laughs> the roll, the big roll of transfer tape, the tape came off of it, you keep it tight, and then it uh, unrolled a little bit, right behind Becca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. nice. Oh, God, that's nice. <laughs> okay, now it's good and tight. And now we're going to grab this little piece, put it over to the side. There's two pieces. There's like a, a cap and then there's this little washer. You're not going to need both of them. You only need one or the other, but that's one of the last things that you do. We put the mint or the hour hand on first and place it on until it won't go any further. And then we put the minute hand on and it is more of an oblong circle there or oblong center. So you have to pay attention to how that's going on because you can't, if, if the po if the shaft is turned the wrong way, it won't go on, which is fine. You just have to move this back. So it wants you to put the hands and everything on at 12 o'clock and then, um, then you can start it after that. But you have to decide if you don't want the seconds, then you can go ahead and put the end piece on and just screw it on. If you want the second hand, then what you're going to do is get the smallest uh, nut and screw it on. Stacy talking about that vinyl unwrapping. She said, that has happened to me before and I jumped. I may have yelped as well, but no one heard, so that didn't happen. That's the way I feel. That's true. And then you just put the little second hand right in there. And we have a little clocky. It's done. We have no batteries. Yeah, there's but no batteries. That's okay. But, oh, so stinking cute. And then you can hang it or you could put it um, on a shelf or something and prop it up. I'm obsessed. I love it. So cute. Anyway. You all are troopers once again. Oh, good. It's only 2.05. I feel yeah, like this is taking forever. Got it. My bad, guys. Go on a wild ride with me. See, it's only 2.05. You do a great job. Good. Oh, amazing. So cute. Amazing. Thank you all for watching this. I actually am not going to stay in chat today. We have had some good chat time already, and I do have to run an errand before I pick my kids up. Um, I have to get some dry shampoo because I'm going camping and I won't have time to get it tomorrow. Anywho. I offered to pick her up some because I'm getting some today. She doesn't want my cheap dry shampoo. Her shampoo is not good enough. She doesn't want me. my dry shampoo that I'm it's not getting at Walmart. So, but anyway. hey, you gotta go shop around for that type of thing. Yes. You sure do. Yes, yes, yes. But we will see you all tomorrow. 
At 10.30, Miss Beck is going to be doing the Yes, live. if you are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, I don't say this enough, please go ahead and subscribe. We would love um, to have you here crafting with us on the YouTubes. Um, subscribe, like it if you like it. Let us know if you have any questions. If you are not an Oak and Lane member, join. Click the link below and become a member. We do offer monthly and yearly options. And the only difference... Is that you save money so you get by the, going yearly by going yearly you get the exact same benefits if you pay monthly versus yearly the only difference is you basically get two months free if you sign up for yearly yep. um, so that's the discount you get anyway click the link thank you all for watching have a fantastic wednesday